Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just walking up the slope to Denham Station on the Chilton Main Line in Buckinghamshire. It's a cold December day between Christmas and New Year. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of things in this video. First, I'm going to show you a bit of Denham Station and then we're going to go and look at some dangerous bridges and possibly some floods. So um, we'll get onto the dangerous bridges and floods um, in a minute, but first we're going to go and have a look at the station because there's a couple of unusual things in this station. So before I go into the station, I've just got to put my face covering on. So my face covering's on. Let's go and um, have a look in the station. Um, we're not spending long here. We're not traveling by train. I just wanted to show you something that's a bit different about this station. So that's looking north, that's looking south. So this is the up platform. Now the down platform, is in the middle of the formation but when I was little it used to be on the other side and I don't remember them there would have once been two through lines through the middle so um, it used to go through an underpass to access the old down platform and then um, when they made the station accessible for all they built a new platform in the middle and they put a footbridge with lifts I'm not going to worry about going over there today I think they could put a bay platform in here though and um, have a terminating train. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you now the old subway, so, which is down here. And this has got to be one of my favourite railway station subways, because once it might look just like a normal station subway now, but you will see, when we get down there, it's rather different to any other. I don't know any other railway station to have a subway like this. So we come down here. Now, the railway's on a fairly high embankment at this point come down here and we're sort of in a big tunnel but we're not yet at ground level so there is a path this is called the Pikel um, that way is Denham Green and the Pikel goes right through down there to Denham Village one thing I don't know if anyone knows I've always been fascinated what's in there that's always been bricked up ever since I was a child so yeah I think that's one of the um, most unusual entrances there is to a railway station so as we go along here this would have once been the way to the down platform. So uh, when I was a child, and I used to come here with my grandmother to watch trains, we would have gone, the door wouldn't have been there, these bricks wouldn't have gone there, would have gone up the steps up to the down platform. So we come down here, um, out the back of the station, I'm going to take off my face covering now because I'm no longer on the railway station. So if you look behind me, that's what you have, you have this huge tunnel which is a thoroughfare for the station, um, through underneath the station. So the other, the platform and the station building would have been up there. So yeah, possibly one of the most unusual entrances, or in my case, exit to a railway station. So we come down here. This path is called the Pikel. It runs about um, a bit less than a quarter of a mile down towards Denham Village. This area here where all these trees are, when I was a child, it was a field. Uh, and there's a footpath that runs along the other side of it. And I remember walking along there with my grandmother once and seeing a Class 37 on the rubbish train um, So um, before the 66s took over. So what we're going to do, we're not going down towards Denham Village today. Um, but I will show you the Pikel. So that way, that goes to Denham Village. Now here we have a junction of public footpaths. We could go that way through the golf course. But have a look at this one where it says Public Bridleway. Let's go along here. It says footpath closed. Now, being the sort of person I am, I saw this the other day and I thought, I'm going to go and have a look. I wonder why it's closed. I thought possibly something to do with HS2, but then I thought, well, no, HS2 works are a bit of a way from here and they're not on the other side of the Chilton Main Line. So, um, let's go down and um, I'm going to show you why it's closed. So, I'm just going to walk a little bit and uh, I'll show you what there is to find when we get up there. So I've just been walking along this footpath for nearly a quarter of a mile beside this palisade fence. Chilt Main Line is just up there. We're just coming up to the River Colne now, um, where we're going to find some of these dangerous bridges I've been talking about. But firstly, not one of the dangerous bridges, is the viaduct which carries the Chilt Main Line over the River Colne. Now the River Colne is here, just in front of me. It doesn't look as high as it did the other day, so the floods I was talking about when I came to walk up here the other day may now have um, gone down. Um, I would have said it was a few inches high the other day, but anyway, I'll just let you have a quick look. There's the viaduct. So, passed over this viaduct many times um, 
on my way up to London, um, but as few times have I actually been down here. I've come down here over the years because I quite like this walk. It's um, one of my favourite walks around Denham, but when I go to Denham, I often do the shorter walks. This is one of the longer walks uh, around here to Denham. So we go along here. Golf course is the other side of those trees. There's a bit of a, um, a gully coming off the River Colne here. So we've got this uh, rather large culvert-like pipe and the water flows off. Well, it doesn't really flow. It's still water up there. And then behind as well. It doesn't quite, at the moment, join the Colne. Now, dangerous bridges. If we just go through the trees, we should get... Oh, I think we're going to see a train. Let's just have a look at that. Two Chilton Railways Class 165s. Have a look through there. You can see a bridge now. It may not, you may not look too obvious what's happened, but it has partially collapsed. Um, but you're not supposed to cross it, but you can. So a little disclaimer here. It does say don't cross it, so um, you know shouldn't really cross it. But I'm happy I can cross it safely if I'm careful enough. So you know that's why I'm going to cross it, um, and then we're going to have a look on the other side. So. You get to here, and um, where's the sign that says public bridleway? So I suppose here we're now. Um, well, there's a what looks like an unofficial path there. Anyway, here's the bridge. So there's a fence. It looks like they've taken up the slats, and then you can see where it's um, broken. So well, let's go and have a look because I think it's going to be quite an interesting thing to do. So I've just got to get through here. I have rigged up this thing, a couple of lanyards to make sure that. If I do drop my camera, I um, it doesn't go into the water. Oh, this is a bit scary. This bit, this is actually scarier crossing this than I think what's, yeah, just getting across that. Because I, I stepped on one of those slats and it wobbled it. I think they've done that to stop you going onto the bridge, but now I'm on the bridge, um, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. It's a shame because it's a nice bridge. As far as I'm aware, it's completely wooden. I think it's probably teak, but... It feels odd now because it feels all distorted and it is distorted. Is that another train coming? Yeah, have a look on the viaduct up there. You should see another train cross. Another class 165, that one's obviously stopped at Dillon. Yeah, so the bridge has um, distorted its bent so you can see there's. Um, a crack there and there's another crack there so it's sort of been pushed out this way and then when we get to here it does feel a bit weird walking on here because it's all kind of the the floor doesn't feel like it's in the right place i've seen a few other people when i came along here the other day a few other people crossed it so here you can see basically what's happened that it's this beam here these beams here that have, have cracked i think there's probably other beams underneath that have also cracked and then these are just slats along there, they're not structural, so they've all kind of come out. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. So I'm just at the edge of the water. Um, you can just see resting down there, that's one of the main structural beams. I think, I'm not sure which failed first, whether it was the top beams or the lower beams, but one of them obviously failed and caused the bridge to, to collapse as it did. So, and now they've taken out the slats here just to make it. Um, harder to cross but I can get through by using these Ooh, get across there okay so cross the bridge now you'd think well the other day I thought once I got across the bridge I thought that's the hard work over that's the broken bridge for you I thought I'm just gonna have a nice walk through the woods hear the odd sound of a train now and then I had no idea the other day that things were going to get a lot harder when I came across some floods up there. So we're going to go up there now and see if the floods are still there. And now I'm going to show you a couple more dangerous bridges, but I'm not going to attempt to cross those ones, so I'm going to carry on in that direction. Oh, and by the way, let's have another look. There's the bridge. You can see more the effect of uh, how badly it's clapped. So yeah, that's the bridge, but I'm going to carry on up through the woods. I just followed the path a little way from where the first uh, dangerous bridge was. There's a few puddles, but it's not flooded yet to quite what I saw the other day, but I think that's going to change. I found this big stick here, just in case um, 
just so I can have a little poke around and uh, see how um, deep it is. That's interesting. There's a sign there that says HS2 land boundary, although um, I don't want to go too much into HS2, but it's going to be on the other side of the viaduct. Um, it will run alongside the short main line to somewhere before the viaduct and it will cross over there. Um, but yeah, that, so that's obviously, again, Chilton Main Line. It's the next viaduct towards Greater London. And this viaduct actually takes the Chilton Main Line out of Buckinghamshire and into Greater London. Um, so we might actually even end up in Greater London, but we've got across the, the Grand Union Canal to the border. So here we are. The floods begin. So I've got my stick. It, it's, um, I've got wellies on. It's not too bad. Um, it looks, it does look rather quite nice. Have a look at that. Um, all the reflections which I'm about to mess up by walking through. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wade, wade my way through here. Um, now when I came down here the other day, it was at the very end, the last step I made, I put my foot down too far and um, I got a welly full of water. So I'm hoping that's not going to happen today because the flood waters are lower, but mm, they're getting... And as you can see, now yeah, my well is, it's getting quite high. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the path in this direction. And once we get to dry land, there's a couple of other, what I would call definitely dangerous bridges. And we're not going to cross them, but I'd like to show them to you. So I'm going to continue off in that direction. Oh, I'll just have one last look. There's the Chilton Mainline Viaduct behind us. I've just come a little way through these flood waters. It, it's quite fun, fun this. Um, I'm having quite a nice walk. Now you can just see ahead. There's a little bit of dry land. Now when I came down here the other day, that was also underwater. Now what, what I find quite interesting here is if you look over there, there's another river. Now I don't know which river this is. I assume it's another course of the River Colne, and the two. The water level of this river, compared to the flood water, the water level's higher on the river. So what's happening? We've got, as the path goes around here, the path then goes off up there, which I've got to go up. Ooh, and I'm just slipping, not slipping over. Um, have a look here. It's like this little stream. So this is where the water's overflowing over the top of the river into this lower-lying bit of land. And then over there, you've got the, um, the viaduct with the Chilton Main Line. And then not far over there is the Grand Union Canal. So when they built this viaduct, this was to carry the Chilton Main Line over the Grand Union Canal and this river course, which, so I'm gonna say it probably is a course of the River Colne, but if anyone watching knows it's got a different name, please do comment and tell me, because I would be interested to hear from you. Um, there is another river that comes off the Colne called River Fraze, which we'll get onto a bit later. So it's possible it does have a name. So if I get to about here, um, if you look with my stick, I can, there's ground there. And then look, it goes, I'm not stepping any further that way. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna follow this um, path for a bit longer through the flood waters, and I'm hoping to eventually get to the Grand Union Canal. So more walking through flood waters. So I'm coming to the end of this um, walking through floods. I can, in the distance, see the second dangerous bridge I was talking about. I just passed some other people going, ooh, going the other way who were as keen to explore this um, unusual landscape while it's here as I am. Now, as for the main River Colne I was talking about, it flows along just over there. And um, the second bridge I was talking about is just up here once we get onto dry land. Now, when I came up here the other day, I got all the way through all of this flood water without getting my feet wet. It was just here that um, it was too deep and I had to walk all the way back to my car with wet feet. So if you look here, that other co course of the River Colne, there's a, a bridge, um, there we are, we're going to go over that bridge. So there's another load of water flowing through here and the main River Colne is over there. So this is the slightly awkward bit. In fact, if you look on that tree there, I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see where the um, where it's wet up to. So the flood waters were up there the other day. Can you see that just there? Oh, and some water just went in my welly, so I've now got wet feet, but anyway, carry on. And that's the relief now of stepping onto dry land. So what we're going to do now, 
we're going to go up here over this bridge. This bridge all looks a bit distorted, but I think this bridge is actually meant to be like this. It's not quite the same structure as the other bridge um, we saw back there. I don't know if I need this stick. Um, I will keep it. I feel a bit like Gandalf, though, walking along with a stick. As for that bridge I was on about, it's just round there. So what I'm going to do, continue along the path a little bit, and we'll go and find the other bridge. I'll just come round the corner from that bridge, crossing a couple more little bridges. These just carry the water courses through um, between the... Grand Union Canal which is just over there and the River Colne and um, there's uh, the reason it's clear in here is because you probably can't see them right now but there are some oh, you might just be able to see the wires there's some pylons have a look there though it says bridge ahead closed so um, no mention of floods but obviously the floods weren't there when they put that sign there so I normally say in my videos you know do come visit for yourself but here I'd say perhaps um, wait till the floods have gone and wait till the bridge has been repaired um, obviously do come to Dedham and have a walk around the paths on dry land um, but perhaps don't go trying to cross the bridges unless you really want to like I did um, so as for the second bridge I'm not going to cross it but have a look there that is the second what I would call a dangerous bridge um, I might have once crossed it when I was younger I can't remember um, but this is all part of the country estate which is now um, Denham Country Park. Um, so um, I don't know too much about this state, perhaps one day we'll do a video on that. We have been through here before when I did my Misbourne video. Interestingly, there's some, I just picked up my Gandalf stick again, um, some remains of a wall here crossing here, which is must have been the path that came off. If you can see it, there's a load of bricks there um, that came off the bridge. And I think round here, this is where you would access the bridge, but we're not going to be able to get onto the bridge. We'll go up to it. Under here, people obviously have tried, um, but we get to here with a sign that says, um, well, basically, says danger, keep off. So that is the bridge, it's in there. I'm not going to go walking out into that those five waters to have a look, um, because I think I've done enough of flood waters for one day. Although, that said, we might have to go through some more. What I'm going to do, yes, we are going to have to go through some more. Um, I could follow the path that way, but chances are it's probably flooded. So I'm going to go through these flood, this little bit of flood water here up to the Grand Union Canal, where I know I can walk along the towpath um, back towards Denham Country Park, where there's one more bridge I would like to show you. So go walk through this bit of flood. It's not it doesn't look any like as bad as what we've just done. Now you can see the pylons, and in the distance there's that viaduct over Chilton Mainline. So let's just go up to the Grand Union Canal. So bit more wading for me. The water is really quite clear here so um, we don't overly need the sticks but back there you couldn't always see the bottom of it so it was a little bit worrying. I think I'll hope I don't you know step into where there could be a big hole that you can't see. Um, so we're just coming up not far from here. I'm not going to go over there but there's a lake on the other side of the Grand Union Canal. On the other side of the lake was the railway line which ran to Uxbridge. Um, it looks as though the path gets quite deep there so I'm going to walk up around this muddier edge um, yeah so the old railway line to Uxbridge would have run um, a few hundred yards in that direction there was a triangular junction with the Chilton main line so let's go up these steps here and um, here we have the Grand Union Canal oh, and there's some people canoeing up there on the Grand Union Canal so this is the Grand Union Canal that way is looking towards Uxbridge and uh, looking in the opposite direction, you can just see the viaduct over Chilton Main Line. Oh, and by the way, this, so this is Buckinghamshire, where we are here. That is Greater London on the other side of the canal. So I'm just going to walk up the canal now, and um, we're going to go and find another one more bridge I want to show you. I've now been walking along the canal for probably a little over a quarter of a mile now. As I've been saying, the Greater London boundary is the other side of the canal. So. For a bit of fun, let's just go to Greater London um, over this bridge. We're going to briefly leave Buckinghamshire and we're going to go into Greater London and um, I'll show you the lakes I was talking about. I'm not going to go as far as the old um, Uxbridge branch. So we come over here and the pylons, well they go, there's one pylon on that side of the canal and then they carry on on this side of the canal. So um, if we go up here over the bridge.
So here we are. I can just in the distance see the viaduct um, taking the short main line over the canal. So that way, looking towards Watford. That way looks towards Duxbridge. Just up there's Denham Lock, which we did visit um, on my River Misborn video. We'll take you down on this side. Now we have officially come into Great London. I'm just going to show you a couple of lakes in possibly one of the most rural parts of Great London. There is the sea. It's actually quite a nice walk. If you go down that footpath there, you can go um, all the way to South Ryslip. Oh, and by the way, we're also on the London Loop, which is uh, one of my favourite paths, which orbits London. So that's private in there. On that sign, it says Hillingdon, so we are in Greater London. So London Loop goes that way, up to Moorhall Road. Um, and here is one of the old quarries, which is, is now a lake. So I'll just let you see this view. Now I'm going to run back over to Buckinghamshire. We're going to go and find one more dangerous bridge. I'm back on the River Colne again. I've come over a bridge which is just around the corner up there. A safe bridge, that is. Um, we're going to walk up here, because just up here is where the River Colne and the River Frays part company. Now, I haven't done, don't know too much about River Frays, but it's, I believe it's a man-made river that was built to feed mills in the Uxbridge area. So it comes off the River Colne, which we're about to see in a moment, and it does rejoin the River Colne further up. So we get to this um, graffitied little hut. Now I remember when I was a child there wasn't a palisade fence here. I remember throwing sticks into the weir. If you have a look there, you can see two weirs. The furthest weir, that is the River Frays. So that's where the River Frays comes off the River Colne. The River Colne is here. So what we're going to do, believe it or not, there's a, a little bridge hiding somewhere here um, and there's no way I'm going to cross it. You'd have to be an acrobat I think to cross this one. So yeah, there we are. I get a better view of the weirs now. So I've got River Colne in the foreground and that one over there, that is the river phrase. Now as for this bridge, it is, I can just see it's a suspension bridge. It's literally just here in the trees. So it's um, got ivy all the way up it. Have a look at that. There's a tree growing through it. That is your suspension bridge over the river Colm. So it takes you, it doesn't cross the phrase as well. It's quite a nice structure, but um, the actual bridge deck itself was gone, so you'd, you'd have to be an acrobat to cross it. Let's have a look. That's looking straight through, so you've got a tree growing straight through. If we go around here, um, let's see what I can see. I'll go around there. The fence ends here, so I'm going to go through and we'll have a look. Um, as I said, I'm not going to cross it. I'm just going to show it to you. So go around here and around here. So here we are. This is... So here's the tree that's growing in the bridge, look, there you are. Nice bit of, um, bit of the bridge. And there it is. So yeah, there is no way I'm going to cross that, acrobat or not. That is, um, yeah, pretty much, if anyone has crossed it, I'd be impressed, but I'm not going to cross it. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this little explore. Bit of a different one from my usual ones. Um, had a nice walk, um, definitely needed wellies. I wouldn't suggest um, you try and cross that bridge unless you really want to like me but thank you very much for watching um, please do feel free to like subscribe and comment because every person that subscribes it really does help me out um, you know we get to do more videos so please do like subscribe and comment I really appreciate every like and subscribe and comment I get so thank you very much and from the bridge I'm not going to cross goodbye <laughs>